to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution, where I talk about everything crypto daily. I want to thank everybody that's been hitting that like button. I'm trying to get to a thousand likes a video. That means I need about 25% of you guys to take two seconds, smash that like button for me. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, I'm going to keep you guys up to date on everything crypto daily. Please subscribe to the channel. Jumping right into the market today in crypto. Sideways with greenish undertones. Boy, Bitcoin SV up another 7% today. EOS up 4.19%. So few of the larger altcoins making minor moves. Bitcoin at 81.80. Overall market cap of cryptocurrency, $218 billion. This is a Bitcoin four-hour chart. We had a pretty lengthy discord last night. I'm looking at these charts quite a bit and I'm thinking this might be a falling wedge potentially. Okay. And so there's a lot of uncertainty right now in the market. Like the alts have cooled off just recently in the past few hours. When that happens, typically people are uncertain about Bitcoin's next move or, or potentially the move coming. And so it's a good gauge of what this market is thinking. Now with this idea, Again, it's basically by the breakout, but a, but a falling wedge is a bullish reversal pattern. However, there might be a, a downside move in store uh, before the breakout. So this is one idea. Okay, so I'm going to throw quite a few ideas in this video, and it's real important to watch the video all the way to the end because I, I cover a lot of pertinent information that you guys need to know and understand at the end of the video, okay? Okay, so previously we had this falling wedge. We broke out to the upside. The upside target was 8,600. We haven't quite hit that yet. So again, let's go to, this is a one hour chart. You've got this bullish pennant right here, which is inside. You got a pattern inside a pattern, okay? So essentially this could break higher and this would be the catalyst for a breakout to the upside. Now, down here on the RSI, you know, there's definitely some room for a move lower. And same as this falling wedge, on the price action. Okay, so we found confluence. You've got the same pattern on the RSI as well as the price action. Okay, so number one, this is easy to trade, right? It's real simple. If you're not in Bitcoin, what do you do? You just buy the breakout. So this is my strategy. This is what I do. You know, I don't want to get caught up in this chop. Like if you're trying to trade this stuff right here with leverage, good luck because you're living a stressful life right now, okay? Because it's just like huge wicks everywhere. It's wick season. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where everybody's calling out breakouts, posting charts, working together to trade this market. We've got thousands of eyes working together. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading this market, you can watch these videos. You'll be making profitable trades. It's that easy. I post profitable trading setups every single day in the group. This is a gentleman, shout out to 963 Creation. He said, I lost about $30,000. Basically, he's a holder. But he said, after learning from your group, now I can survive in the market for the longest time since 2018. I've got more wins than losses now. And that's what it's all about. I mean, you more wins than losses. This market hasn't been super amazing. I mean, look at Bitcoin, 50% pullback, altcoins getting wrecked more wins than losses in that environment. Wait and see what happens to 963 creation when this market takes off. He's gonna have his skills up to par and he's gonna make a ton of money in this market. If you guys wanna join my cryptocurrency trading group, you wanna pay in crypto, email me cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. If you, want, if you pay in crypto for six months, you get 20% off. If you pay in crypto for the year, you get 30% off and an additional month for free. If you do want to pay with a card month to month, you can do so. There's a Patreon link in the description. This is Zen BTC. I've talked to you guys about this on the channel as a midterm hold. Zen is up a hundred percent. These midterm holds are easy. Sit it and forget it. Buy it and hold it. Sell the top on a big spike. Boom, take your profits. Shout out to this person. He said, I sent over payment today. Again, he renewed for six months and he said, this is the best money I've spent Someone posted this on Reddit, and this is basically a receipt. They sent money to Cambodia. They sent $50 and it cost $12 to send 50, right? This is the number one driving force why cryptocurrency is going to take over. Money transmittance immediately out of the box. Any crypto there is, is faster than what's available in mainstream society, period.
Mainstream adoption, baby. Michael Hurrigan and the Fortress Investment Group are doxing thousands of Mt. Gox victims. These are bankruptcy victims. So Mt. Gox declared bankruptcy after a hack. And then you get these groups, these investment groups. Well, hey, they're going to give you, you don't want to wait for Mt. Gox settlement. You know what? We're going to give you some money and we're going to buy your rights. And essentially, everybody's happy. You know, the, the, the people get their money quickly and the investment groups makes a profit, obviously, off of waiting the period of time. But the problem here is they sent these see-through envelopes. So now everybody that has, you know, potentially a lot of money. Remember, Mt. Gox, people had tremendous amounts of Bitcoin back then and it was cheap. And they lost a lot of Bitcoin and then the payouts are going to be big. So the issue is this. Everybody that was handling this, these letters potentially knows that they have these big payouts coming. So they got doxxed. Bitcoin will double in 2020, according to leading research firm. And I think, I think 2020 Bitcoin could double. I think that's more than realistic. I'll run back up to uh, 14,000. I think that's in the cards. I think these altcoins are going to have a, a pretty good run as well. Um, this is based on the infamous Bitcoin bull Tom Lee, which kind of made me think, hmm, like this guy is historically always wrong. So maybe we go a lot higher than 14,000. So he says 2020 outlook, three positive convergences. He talks about the halving. Bitcoin's halving is going to be epic price run up. Geopolitical risk. Okay, that's part of it. Just think about everything that's going on in the world and is problematic. And that's probably going to help Bitcoin too. And then he says the 2020 elections. And basically he's just talking about how uh, the congressional blowback from Facebook's Libra, the correlated White House bashing of Bitcoin marked the highs of 2019. So 2020, we see several positive convergences that enhance the use case and also the economic model for crypto and Bitcoin. So he's thinking that these total re returns for Bitcoin, if you buy now, should be 100%. So again, are we at the bottom? That's the ultimate question. And we're going to talk more about that in the video. In just a bit. So Litecoin worth $2 billion has remained unmoved for a year. Listen, holder mentality survives. These whales, they're accumulating. It's a lot easier to just accumulate billions of dollars of Litecoin. So this was pointed out by Franklin Richards, Litecoin Foundation director, who stated that a majority of these Litecoin appear to have been locked up between November and December of 2018. So it's speculated the whales fed on the lowest price and started hoarding Litecoin. I wanna make sure you guys are familiar with Pure VPN. So I use Pure VPN every single day. Anytime I'm on public Wi-Fi, anything, anytime I wanna make sure that I'm protected. Like there's so many, gosh, there's so many ways to get hacked nowadays. So Pure VPN, I use it for privacy. It's VPN stands for virtual private network. You wanna have safe, communications anytime you're dealing with you know public wi-fi free you know my phone will automatically pick up free wi-fi potentially you know versus using mobile data and that's uh, possibly a point where i'm susceptible to a hack uh pure vpn it's only a dollar and change per day right now it's 88 percent off or if you want to use binance.com bitmex or, you know, Bybit, for example, if you want to avoid any geo-blocking, Pure VPN works great for that. There's a link in the description and it does support the channel if you decide to use Pure VPN. Late night show host Stephen Colbert torches Bitcoin in a bad good publicity blitz. Bad good. Bitcoin made the cut on the late show with Stephen Colbert and this is the second time. Stephen Colbert said this, folks, I spend a, a lot of time over there panning in the river of news for the biggest shiniest gold news nuggets to put in my monologue but once in a while i like to scrape together a bunch of old stolen computers throw them in a basement with an illegal hookup to the municipal power supply and mine bitcoin which i use to form the black market fiat currency of news that is my segment so not amazing <laughs> kind of kind of threw a little took a little jab at us took a little jab at us like he's he's mining bitcoin to do some uh you know buying on the dark web purchases so not amazing but hey we'll take it mainstream adoption 
talk show host at a time. Analyst who called 2019 bear market believes Bitcoin's primed for massive gains. Primed for massive gains. I'm ready. Let's do this. So this guy is Dave the Wave. What a great name for crypto. With this chart has established the fact that Bitcoin is going to set all-time highs, all-time highs. That means we're going above 20,000 in 2021. And again, I think this is realistic. Potentially, do we have some downside left? You know, but 2021, I don't know. I'm excited for 2020, man. I think we've got a lot of good things coming this year. You know, so is Dave the Wave right? What do you guys think? I want to know you. What do you think here? Where's Bitcoin going right now? Is it, are we going to break higher or do you think we're headed lower? If you want bat to moon, if you want basic attention to, to moon, which I have a lot, thanks to you guys, a lot of tips from you guys, you know, definitely makes it worth talking about basic attention token. So tip YouTube influencers that aren't using any bat if you want basic attention token to continue to take off. And that's true. Like the more we use these cryptos, like a lot of people, you know, I talk to and they're like, yeah, I don't want to spend my crypto. I'm like, listen, you should be giving it away to people so they understand what it is. Not large amounts, but hey, man, here's $10 in Bitcoin. Here's a, here's a wallet. Let's install it. Just watch what Bitcoin does. As soon as I see Bitcoin start to move around, just have that, you know, that relationship with people like, hey, this is crypto. We've got to spread it. We got it from the ground up. This is like a, a campaign we're building. Like the faster we work together to spread the, the news of what's going to change the world. This is the biggest financial revolution of our lifetimes. We have to do everything we can to make sure that people are familiar with it. So if you guys aren't giving away bats or if you're not tipping bat, you know, definitely get Brave Browser. Okay. There's a link in the description. Tip some bat. You know, we have a ton of great YouTubers. You know, you can even tip on Twitter. Give some bat away. Send some tips. Tip some people on on, on YouTube, Twitter even. Obviously, I want Bitcoin to go higher. I don't want to be bearish right now. And, and potentially, we're, we've got a big move coming here, and, and this could all change. However, it's important to understand all aspects of what could happen in this market. So I've talked to you guys about this on the daily chart. The price actions run up and hit this upper trend line multiple times, and it's been rejected every single time. We have to assume that we continue lower unless this breaks out to the upside. I'm not trying to predict. I'm not trying to you know, pull a crystal ball out here and tell you, hey, this is the future of Bitcoin. It's not about that. You know, I'm trying to ride the winners, sell the losers real quick. I buy breakouts. I buy the move as because the upside target here is 11,000. Listen, if I miss 10% or 15% of the move, who cares? I'm still going to make a ton of money on this breakout, right? But what I won't, what won't happen is I'm not going to take a lot of losses if it pulls back because I'm waiting for the breakout. There's a possibility of hidden bearish divergence playing out. So basically, you had previous previous hidden bearish divergence. Now, bear, hidden bearish divergence occurs in a downtrend, and it means that the downtrend will continue, okay? So you made a, a lower high here on the price action and a higher high here, hidden bearish divergence. Now, here we are again, possible hidden bearish divergence, right? Got lower high here and a higher high here, okay? So this means the potential for a pullback if it's confirmed. So in order to invalidate this idea, Bitcoin has to break out. Okay, as soon as it starts to move lower, it's gonna confirm this divergence and we'll see a pullback. Bitcoin weekly chart has a head and shoulders, and this was part of my bearish scenario, and this could be changing right here. Target of this bearish pattern is 4K. Well, the weekly candle, candle came up and it closed above the trend line, okay? But I really wanna see a break above the 21 simple moving average on the weekly, which we got rejected from. Again, this move to the upside would invalidate this bearish head and shoulders, which would be great. You know, we move higher, all of a sudden this is completely invalid. Forget about it. Doesn't even matter. Now we've got a possible bullish MACD cross. Now listen, let's zoom in here and look at this. We get a bullish MACD cross. Okay, so let's look at what happened. Here we are. This is the last bullish MACD cross on the weekly. Happened on January 28th, 2019. So let's go to the price action and see what happened on January the 28th of 2019. Here we are, $3,400. What happened after this? We ran up. A bullish MACD cross is a buy signal, okay? 
on the MACD, very powerful. So we ran up from 3,400 and we got a, we got a bearish cross, a sell signal at about 11,500. So it doesn't nail the top. It's not perfect. It's not going to nail the top. It's not going to nail the bottom, but it's okay. The money in crypto is made in the middle. Now I would say this, we had our bearish MACD cross. We got a huge pullback, right? Ran down to 6,500 or lower. Now the potential is here for everything to change. Okay, so we get this cross. Man, the, the bullish scenario is right, we're right on the verge. This next week is gonna tell us, potentially two weeks, is gonna tell us a lot about this market. So listen, grab your popcorn. It's about to get real in crypto. I'm excited. I'm excited to do this every day for you guys. Not only did Cost Exchange lock up funds for everyone with no notice for three to four weeks, now they're banning everyone asking about it on Telegram or social media. Can you say SCAM scam? Come on, man. How are they going to do this? Like these exchanges, like no notice. Like what if you're, you're what if you're holding Bitcoin in, in Bitcoin tanks, or what if you're stuck in Tether on Cost, and, and you're trying to buy the breakout, and now you can't even move your fund? You know how much money this could potentially cost people. They claim the lockup is to move servers, but this is nothing but red flags. So they're going to move servers and it's going to take three to four weeks. You know, trading and using these exchanges is, is necessary for what we do. I wouldn't, you know, cost exchange is not a larger exchange. You know, I'd stick to your larger exchanges. You know, don't get caught up when you start chasing these small, tiny altcoins on some of these exchanges. Man, people get wrecked. The founder of Icon has a meeting with the governor of Seoul, Korea to discuss the future of smart cities of Korea running on the ICON blockchain. Imagine that, ICX, the whole city runs on ICON. Imagine, how big is that? I'll tell you one thing about South Korea, they love crypto and they, ICON is a South Korean project. So definitely keep an eye on ICX going forward. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, please be sure, like the video, subscribe to the channel, Comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.